Neats. This is the day the Lord has made. We'll, be, we'll rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to Morning Glow. Welcome to another time in the presence of the Lord. It's an awesome day. It's a great day. It's a powerful day. It's a beautiful day. A day to declare God's power, God's grace. Today, God will minister to you. Your life will never be the same. Someone is coming into the reality of divine leading, the reality of the voice of God, the reality of God really ordering your step. Heavenly Father, we worship you, we praise you, we thank you. What a joy we have to be in your presence. We are your people, the sheep of your pasture. My sheep know my voice and they obey the voice of another they will not obey. We're here today, we thank you. You will speak, you will guide, you will lead. Everyone on this platform today will experience your grace. Heaven will open, testimony will follow. Glory will be revealed to the glory of your name. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. Praise the Lord. We would like to welcome everyone who's joining us this morning on Morning Glow. We trust the Lord that you slept well, you're awake. And for those of you who are in various parts of the world that haven't even gone to bed, may you be blessed, may you be highly favored. I see Michigan, USA this morning. God bless you richly, by the way. Take the time to share the platform. Let people know we're here. Share, share, share. Share the platform. Don't stay silent. Don't keep it to yourself. Let somebody get to connect this morning in the name of Jesus. And also like, like and subscribe. Vandell in Denmark. God bless you this morning. Play store in East London. The Lord bless you richly. Voskoten in the Netherlands. The Lord bless you richly. Liverpool. Blessings on you. Cartford, South East London. Tedford in Norfolk. The Lord bless you this morning. As we speak blessings on people, it comes on you too for connecting. Denver, Colorado. The Lord bless you richly. Camberwell, South East London. Blessings on you. Medina in Ghana. The Lord bless you. KRCC, Maryland, Lagos, be blessed in highly favor. Dagenham, blessings, Tulls Hill, Southwest London, be blessed in highly favor. Favored, hey, Trent City, Trinidad and Tobago. May you be highly favored this morning all the way in the Caribbean. Logan, in France, Dio vous bénis. I've been in France, I've been in Paris, July something, first week of July. God bless you richly. Meet me in ICC. God bless you. ICC Pavi. Uh, the Gambia, blessings. Praise the Lord. Etan in France. God bless you too. The Ovu Benice. LOD also who lives in France. The Ovu Benice. Uh, Pram Pram in Ghana. The Lord bless you richly this morning. Praise the Lord. Shrivenham and Swindon, blessings. Utah, Utah in the USA is the first time I see Utah. May you be blessed. Welcome. We celebrate you in Jesus' name. Portsmouth in the UK. God bless you richly. Windsor, Ontario. The Lord bless you this morning. Madish, Kadebo, Karibi, Toronabra, Ida, Luzabake, Yanderi. Somebody is going to be blessed today. It is going to be so powerful. Uh, GRA, Kedja, Nigeria, blesses New York. Be blessed and I'll favor the New York. See you in October. I think it is October. We're at Abandoned Live Church, New York. Blessings on you today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Nabe Koshan Dele Barata Lereke. We declare favor on somebody today. We declare the glory of God. Paddock Word in Kent, blessings. Hackney in London, blessings. Danbury in Connecticut. The Lord bless you. Guadeloupe, all the way in the French Caribbean. Dio vous Hey, the Lord bless you this morning, all the way from the French Caribbean. Spintex Road, Accra. The Lord bless you this morning. May you be highly favored. Houston, Texas, blessings on you. Redbridge in, in Essex. Clapton in East London. Houston in Texas. 
uh, Gulu in Uganda, the Lord bless you, Gwerimpa in Abuja, Nigeria, the Lord bless you richly today. May you be highly favored, may you be lifted indeed, may you be victorious in the name of Jesus. All right, KRCC Istanbul, yes, it shall come to pass. Blessings on you this morning. We declare and decree blessings on you today. We declare favor, Ilford in Essex, blessings on you. San Ramon, California, the Lord bless you. All those who are on the various platforms, the Lord bless you richly. Mix, uh, mix LR. I got. I hope I got it right. Is it mix uh, LR? Okay. God bless you richly. Uh, X. God bless you today. Uh, I think we. Yeah. God bless you. Inst and those who are on X, please spread the tidings around. We have 450,000 followers of Pastor Matthew, but we're not having enough generated on 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 X. So we want those 450,000 to connect to Morning Glow. Praise the Lord. Uh, on the town, Nigeria, God bless you. Those who are joining us on KCC's website, blessings on you. Uh, Instagram, the Lord bless you. Please show us where you're joining from. If you are on Instagram, let us know. May you be blessed this morning. May somebody be touched, delivered, set free, strewed in Kent. God bless you richly. Uh, Hewitson Gardens and Smedic blessings on you. Levenshaw, Manchester, be blessed and highly favored. Weja. In Ghana, God bless you. Akosombo in Ghana, the Lord bless you richly this morning. May you be highly favored. May you be lifted. Uh, Okera, Nigeria, God bless you richly today. Uh, Edmonton in North London, blessings. Clay Hall in Ilford, blessings. Monrovia, Liberia, hey, the Lord bless you richly. Those are places one day I hope to hold a citywide crusade, taking the stadiums. In Jesus' name, Mile 11, Ghana. Never heard of Mile 11 before. Let me know where Mile 11 is. I suspect it's Accra. Mile 11. I've been, I've been going to Ghana since 1970. Is it eight or nine? I never heard of Mile 11. Let me know where that is. Jalingo, Nigeria. God bless you richly this morning. Victoria Gastes in Spain. Dios Steven Diga. Lord bless you richly. Teshinungwa in Ghana. That's near my friend's church, Dr. Otterbill. Not really near. His church is in Teshi. God bless you this morning. Praise the Lord. Maba Shetaya Kaba. Middleton Quark. Uh, God bless you in Ireland. Favor. Jesus' name. Bucharest, Romania. The Lord bless you today. Gaberoni, Botswana. Every time I read Gaboroni, Botswana, all I can see is my hotel and this baboons uh, jumping all over the trees. They, they made sure nature was around the hotel. It wasn't funny though, me, I stayed away from those baboons, man. Port Harcourt, River State, Nigeria, be blessed this morning. You will not bow to adversity. Your mouth will be filled with joy and laughter in the name of Jesus. Togo, God bless you richly this morning. Jesus name, Dio Vubenis. Praise the Lord, 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 praise the Lord. This morning, Kaidaba, Nebrosa, Nikarabosha. This morning, we are going on a journey, and it is the journey of hearing God, hearing the voice of God, God speaking into your situation, God speaking into everything you are going through, God speaking until there is a testimony, God speaking until there is a turnaround, God speaking until the voice of darkness is silenced for you. Ayamada Shakaba, 
God speaking until there is a change of situation. We are going to hear the voice of divine endorsement. The voice of God endorsing you, endorsing your life. And every other voice that wants to speak, we are going to take authority today, possibly beyond today, and we are going to silence them. We need to know the voice of God. We need to hear the voice of God. We need to hear him at difficult times. We need to hear him during easy times. We need to hear him at all times. One of the most powerful verses of scripture we use to witness to people is Revelation 3.20. It says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hears my voice and opens, I will come in unto him and sup with him and he with me. If any man hears my voice in a world of many voices, you need the voice of God. Satan speaks. He speaks through dreams to deceive you. God speaks. He speaks through dreams to direct you. Flesh speaks. Flesh speaks to also demote you. Flesh demotes. Satan deceives. God directs. Flesh demotes. Satan deceives. God directs. May you hear the voice of God. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open, I will come in unto him and sup with him and he with me. In this season of your life, may you hear the voice of God. What is the voice of the Lord like? It is like the story of a young boy whose parents had gone out to the nearby market for groceries. During the time they were there, the apartment in which the boy was went into flames. Standing on the balcony of the fourth floor apartment of the flame, the flames was increasing. The boy is crying for help. Firemen are below. They are screaming to the boy, jump, jump. He would not respond to their calling despite the fact that they promised him safety. Jump, little boy. We are the firemen. You will be safe. The boy looks at four floors. He refuses to jump. Suddenly out of the crowd, a man shows and yelled the boy's name and said, Hey, Johnny, jump. The moment the boy saw the man and heard that voice, the boy jumped. The man received uh, and the man grabbed him. The boy escaped death. The fireman went to him and said, How come he listened to you and jumped? He said, I am his father. In a world of many voices wanting to deceive, misdirect. In the world of many voices and satanic voices wanting to make you look like you have been forgotten, you have been abandoned. May you hear the voice of God. May you hear the voice of direction. When there are several other voices, may the voice of God be distinct to you. God can speak to you in a known voice but you will know that this is the Lord. When Samuel will be spoken to by the Lord as a little boy, he was the voice he knew, the voice of, Saul, of, 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 of Eli. Ah, may you, be, may you hear the voice of God. May you be directed of, of God. God's voice is still and quiet in, in, in 1 Kings 9 verse 12. Elijah is running from Queen Elizabeth, I said Queen Elizabeth, Queen Jezebel. And at some point, he now sat down tired. He saw a mighty hurricane. The Bible says God was not in it. He saw a huge thunderstorm. The Bible says, but God was not in it. But then finally, the Bible says, and then out of all of it, there was a still small voice. And it was the voice of God. I pray for you that no matter what happens, Satan will not have the upper hand. He will not have the upper voice, but rather the voice of the Lord. In the cave in which Elijah hid, God clearly showed up and spoke in a still quiet voice. And you will even wonder how come Elijah is in trouble and all he's hearing is a still small voice. Because God does not align with trouble. He aligns with solutions. Elijah, like so many of us, wants some loud voice. So say, hey, Elijah, they did this to you. Da -da -da -dum, da -dum. 
I'm going to show that Jezebel, she is messed with my son. In the middle of it all, God's voice was very still. God didn't even refer to Jezebel because she was inconsequential. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, Psalm 46, verse 10. Never forget that verse. Psalm 46, verse 10. When everything goes haywire, Psalm 46, verse 10. When everything looks troubling, Psalm 46, verse 10. When it looks like you're not going to survive a situation, Psalm 46, verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. Just be still. Watch God. It will be awesome. Telibaridosia. Neka pareta. Rico sotayara. The trouble with many of us is we are running a hundred miles an hour trying to look for the voice of God. I pray for you today in the name that is above all names. That may the voice of God be clear to you. May the voice of the Lord be directing. May the voice of the Lord open doors. May the voice of the Lord prosper you. May the voice of the Lord bless you. May the voice of the Lord be clear to you. What is the voice of God like? The voice of God is like the Bible. God wouldn't tell you to do some crazy thing that does not agree with his word. It will have to be in consonance with the Bible. God wouldn't tell a man that leave his, he should leave his wife and go and take another man's wife. That is not the Bible. But the Bible will direct you, will make you know what to do, what step to take. The steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. So in this season of your life, may you be... May you hear the voice of God. May you hear the voice of his direction. May you hear the voice of his leading in the name of Jesus. In the world in which we live, we hear different voices. But even though we may have been in this situation where we hear many voices, always look for the voice of the Lord. Jesus said, my sheep know my voice and they obey the voice of another they will not follow and listen sometimes the voice of the lord contradicts nature the voice of the lord contradicts systems the voice of the lord contradicts the situation in which you are god never speaks to align with where you are no rather god flows in the wrong in, in the other direction a woman is a woman is bent jesus called her loosed a woman, you know, a man is uh, impotent at the age. Yes, Jesus calls him free. God doesn't call things by how we call them. He calls them by how he sees them. God sees the end of a matter. God sees the blessing of a matter. God sees the victory in the matter. God sees the testimony in the matter. Hey, Bosha. Ikoto yara bakasata yara. So no matter how competing the voices around you are, May you hear God. God is the voice of the spirit. That's another thing. Not the voice of your five senses. Your flesh talks. Your eye speaks what you see. But God many times is showing not just what your eye sees. What's the other sense? Your hand touches. And because you touch a thing, a, an ill health area does not mean that God has not healed you. Your mouth tastes, and because you tasted bitter, does not mean sweetness have not been released. So listen, sight, taste, touch, all the feelings can deceive in contradiction to the voice of God. The voice of God is what some might call the sixth sense, or the sixth, yeah, but it is a voice of direction this morning. We are going to take authority. Every negative voice you've been hearing, God is silencing them. God will speak to you. Speak, he will speak the voice of leading, the voice of open door. He will speak the voice of joy. He will speak the voice of blessing. God's voice is also peaceful. When everything looks troublesome, God will just tell you, no worries. I am making a way where there seems to be no way. And eventually there will be a way out. Praise God. He will give you peace. And when we say peace, we are not saying, uh, you want a visa, it says, and thou shalt go there and they shall give you visa. He will just give you peace that no matter what you saw, it will work out. You want to buy a car, it's not going to say, and you shall buy 
a Mercedes Benz. No, he'll give you peace. And you will know when you are in the will of God. This morning, somebody is about to walk in the blessing of the Lord. The voice of God will be clear to you, directing you, ordering your step, bringing you into the purpose of God. Oh, get ready. Every negative voice you've been hearing, we are tearing them this down from this morning. We are silencing them. We are going into the realm of the spirit. And we are declaring your victory over every negative voice, every voice from hell, we are prophesying that the voice of the Lord will back you up. This morning, let's start with the voice of endorsement. Jesus said to his disciples, Lo, I am with you always, even to the ends of the earth. The voice of endorsement. When God endorses you with his voice, nothing can cancel it. Ah, Malibro Shayadabada. This morning, therefore, wherever you are, first of all, we give God glory. We give Him praise. We thank Him for what He has done so far. We thank you. We thank Him. He that told He has helped us. He that told He had blessed us. He that told He had stretched His hand. He that told He had shown His power. He had shown His glory. And so this morning, in the presence of the Lord, ah, I prophesy unto your life, may you hear the voice of God's endorsement, the voice of God's endorsement, the voice of God's endorsement, the voice of God's leading, the voice of God's direction. Endorsement means support. May the Lord support you. May you hear the voice of his support. In Jesus' name, when you have the voice of support of somebody in power, you walk differently because you knew they have the power to do what they said they would do. And those are humans. How much more God? The voice of endorsement is the voice of backing. May the Lord back you. This season of your life, God will back you. God will back you. God will back your family. God will back you. God will back your life in Jesus. And the voice of endorsement is the voice of approval. Tani bazo batika, rita rosa kateko, jija liba ritata, ramanto rikinde baron teleriba. May you hear the voice of the Lord's approval. The voice of endorsement is the seal of approval. Yeah, this is approved. This is approved. Nelesha, Lero, Kabari, Taraba, Koroza, Berita, Teriba, Koroda, Teriba, Baroda, Teria, Taraga. May you hear the voice of God's approval. The voice of God's approval. Any step you want to take that was not that will not honor God. May God open your eyes. May God open your eyes. Any business you want to do that will waste your money, waste your time, waste your life. May God open your eyes. Open your life. Open your eyes. Show you direction. 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 May you hear the voice of God's approval. What he wants you to do. And when we say voice, God speaks in dreams. That's a voice. God speaks in burden, that's a voice. God speaks in impressions, that's a voice. God speaks in inner witness, that's a voice. May you hear God, may you hear God, may you hear God. Ah, the voice of God's endorsement means God has agreed. And when God agrees with your dream, things begin to work out. The Bible says when the man's way pleases God, he makes even his enemies to be reconciled with him. Receive, 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 in Jesus' name. The voice of endorsement is the voice of authorization. Ah, when God authorizes, it means that's it. When you have authorization, be open. Jesus said, Ephata, be open. He authorized the deaf ear to open, the blind eye to open. Receive Ephata, receive Ephata authorization. I pray for you today. I declare into your life the voice of divine authorization on your dream, on your vision, 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 on your dream. Tabaka, Libita, Tabaka, Rikita, Parata, Lirita, Parate, Lirita, Parata, Rikuta, Parate, Rikute, Rabate, Rikush. 
the voice of divine authorization means God has authorized. Jesus said, whatever you bind, I have bound it. That's authorization. I declare to your life this day. May God's, <laughs> may God's voice of endorsement follow you into your marriage, follow you into your business. The voice of divine endorsement follow you into your dream. The voice of divine endorsement follow into the things you lay your hands to do. Receive, 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 in Jesus' name. The voice of endorsement is the voice of validation. Ah! There are people who, when they give you their validation, that's it, the doors just open. You mean that person is the one? That's it. I pray for you this morning. May the voice of divine endorsement in different areas of your life. May you hear it. May you hear it. May you hear. May God validate you. Validate you. Validate you. Validate you. Validate you. Validaya. Akaka. Retoka. Barata. Rekodobe. Renomate. Libro. Likaraba. Rekoshotaya. Meko Zombrea. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. The voice of God. The voice of validation. First of all, there's the voice of joy and gladness. Wherever you are this morning, I want your amen to be powerful. Because sorrow will leave you. Sadness will leave you. The bowing of head will leave you. Sickness will leave you. Jeremiah 33, 11. The voice of joy and the voice of gladness. The voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride. The voice of those who will say, Praise the Lord of hosts, for the Lord is good, for his mercy endures forever. And those who will bring the sacrifice of praise to the house of the Lord, for I will cause the captives of the land to return as at the first, says the Lord. Ho! Oh! In the middle of whatever is happening in the nation where you are, in the city where you are, I prophesy on you this morning. God will endorse your life with the voice of joy, with the voice of gladness, with the voice of joy, with the voice of gladness, with the voice of the bridegroom, with the voice of the bride, with the voice of joy, with the voice of gladness. Receive, 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 with the voice of joy, with the voice of gladness, with the voice of the bridegroom. Doors will open, favor will flow. 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 In the name of Jesus. Tayabasho. Me koduzo libari. Rika ba kuzo tali. Neba kosho tayabaka. The voice of joy and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom. Every unmarried man, God said, is going to make your voice the voice of a bridegroom. The voice of the bride, every lady who desires marriage, God said, is going to give you the voice of the bride. The voice of those who will say, Praise the Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts, remember again, Jehovah Sabaoth, which means the God who fights your battle. Ah, may God endorse your life and give you the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom, the voice of the bride, the voice of victory, the voice of victory. I prophesy unto your life this day. May you hear the voice of joy in your house. Enough of sadness. One this happened, the other one happened, there's no money, this one happened, the, this one is broken, the faucet is broken, that trouble is broken. I don't know what kind of grace you carry. But for some funny reason, I just find that it is when I get out of the house and probably travel, that then I'll get a text from the housekeeper. Oh, this one is, uh, this tap is, is, is leaking water. I say, yeah. It can't leak if I'm around. Some things you get scared, but it has to stop. 
this morning the oil of God on your life will speak. The oil of God on your life will speak in the name of Jesus. Ah, again I prophesy to somebody's life. The voice of joy shall be heard in your house. The voice of gladness. What is the voice of joy and gladness? Promotion, celebration, open doors, testimony, finances connecting with you. Things you want to sell, now selling. Receive the voice of joy and gladness. Receive the voice of joy and gladness. Receive. Ah, you will hear it. It shall resound in your house. Sometimes the voice of joy and gladness is an alert on your phone. It's an alert for your, it's a text coming in, an email coming in, bringing celebration, bringing joy, announcing, ha, Lord of Osha, how lovely on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news. Proclaiming peace and announcing news of happiness. Our God reigns. This morning, you will hear the voice of joy. You will hear the voice of gladness. Brides will rise this year. Bridegrooms will celebrate this year. God will be good to you this year. I speak into your life. Every negative you've been hearing in recent time, one voice that cancels them, receive in the name of Jesus. One news. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. All you need is a, is a, is a, is a, is a Lord of breakthroughs, a master breakthrough. Second Samuel chapter 5, verse 20. And David called the place Baal Perizim, which means master breakthrough. Receive master breakthrough. Baal can be a demonic god. It also means Lord. Lord or master. Tatiku tu katika tatali. Ritika tu katika teka tatali. Ranos kata teli prano tali da baredi. Zalishka toronti tali da badadus. Ratuka pikiya to lori bari tali da ba. Receive! A sound of joy and gladness. I come against every depression, every repression, every depression, every bad dream you had in recent time that worries your spirit. Every news you heard that came one way or the other. I cancel with the blood. I cancel with the blood. I go into the realm of the spirit. I take demonic tongues. I cut. I cut them. In Jesus name. Wherever you are, say amen with fire. This morning also, I declare to your life. That you will hear the voice, the, the thundering voice of God. God will turn down situations for you. Job 37 verse 5. Job 37 verse 5. God thunders marvelously with his voice. He does great things which, he cannot comp which we cannot comprehend. I read that verse again. God thunders marvelously with his voice. He does great things which we cannot comprehend. I prophesy on your life this morning. Medito, Taliba, Banono, Tariba, Terika, Taribo, Ishkatalara. God will thunder on that situation. Thunder on that financial battle. Thunder on the physical battle. Thunder on that ill health. Thunder on that attack on your marriage. Thunder on that attack on your body. Thunder on that attack on your life. Receive victory. Receive victory. Receive victory. Victory, receive victory. Hey, Oshka! May the marvelous voice of God turn down your situation. He does great things which we cannot comprehend. Before the end of today, before the end of today, before the end of today, let somebody on this platform receive an incomprehensible testimony. If you are the one, please write your amen, say your amen, any which way you want to do it. Before the end of today, and a breakthrough you cannot comprehend is coming to your house. A breakthrough that you will say, how did this happen? Where is this coming from? Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. For this next passage of scripture, I want your amen to be powerful. Voice of the Lord is about to come to your situation. And hereby where you are writing down Psalm 29 from verse 1 to 10. 
Psalm 29, verse 1 to 10. I think those are the only verses there. Give unto the Lord, O you mighty ones. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The glory of God thunders. The Lord is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. Verse 3. Waters can, troubling waters can be symbolic of trouble. Patakata kata kata. Rakapakati kituka. Rabatuko sokataki. Ranautaka beketuka. Every gathering storm. The voice of the Lord silences them. That's what Jesus said. Peace. And the storm was still. And the disciple says, what manner of man is this? That even the, the, the sea obeys him. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. Every water around you. Every water in your business. Every troubled, troubled water in your mind. In your home. In your business. In your ministry. In your body. I command peace be still. 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 May the voice of the Lord be over those waters. May the Lord thunder over them. May the voice of the Lord be over those waters. May the Lord thunder over them. May the voice of the Lord be over those waters. May the Lord thunder over them. Anything that is trying to trouble your spirit, trouble your mind. Peace, 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 peace. Harosh kayadata teborosa. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 4. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. Verse 4. May the powerful voice of God speak to your circumstance. You know, somebody will look at you and think it's over. You are done for. You are dead, but they don't know that God speaks. And when God speaks, you will hear the blessing. They will hear the thunder. When God spoke, in the days of Jesus, the Bible says, some said it thundered. But Jesus had his voice. When Paul was kicked off the horse, some said it thundered. But, Pete, but Paul heard his voice. May God thunder on your circumstance. May the voice of the Lord thunder over your situation. Naketo, pakata, rikaba. You know, no matter how strong you are. If, a, if there is a sudden sound of thunder without you seeing the lightning, even you, you shake. May the Lord send thunder into the camp of your enemies. Scatter them. Let the Lord scatter them. Let the voice of the Lord shut the mouth of demons against you. Enough is enough. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. Yes, the Lord splinters the cedar of Lebanon. Wow. A, a, a voice that cuts trees in two. I don't know if you've seen it before. Lightning has struck in places where a huge tree was cut in two. That is God showing you that when his voice speaks, trees can split into two. Everything that stands against you, I command is splintering by the voice of the Lord. Everything that I've spoken against your peace, against your joy, against your destiny. Some of you, you just, you just, you're saying, what is my life? I'm counting days and, and my calendars are increasing. I cannot put my finger on what I have done. And some of you, you are doing, but something is trying to hinder. Let God arise. Every voice that is speaking against your dream are going to the realm of the spirit. Wherever they are, using esoteric means, whatever they are using, may the voice of the Lord thunder against them, silence them, shut them out of devils, silence them, shut them out of devils, silence them, shut them out of devils. Victory in your house. I love this passage. It's like I've never seen Psalm 29 before. You know, that's the Bible because it's the word of God until God breathes on a passage and the rhema comes alive. You can hear it a million times. Verse 6, he makes them also <laughs> to skip like a calf. Lebanon and Syrian, like a young wild ox, when God speaks, things will begin to jump around. Because the voice of the Lord has come. Every, everything in your body that says it's permanent. And one dead cell, one sickness is permanent in your body. I curse that thing. I command your total health. 
total deliverance, victory in your life. In the name of Jesus. Verse 7, the voice of the Lord divides the flames of fire. Every flame of fire. And somebody's, you know, some people are flaming the fire. They are increasing the fire. They are using bellows. So if you don't know what a bellow is. In Africa, we are blacksmiths who still make knives and cutlers the local way. They have these bellows that blow the fire so it will continue to be red hot. Somebody is blowing the bellows of fire against you. The voice of the Lord divides the flame of fire. Every fire that have come against you, today we quench it, today we quench it, today we quench it, today we quench it. The voice of the Lord will silence every demonic attack, every satanic attack, every hell that have broken loose against you is silenced by the power of God. Satan will be put to shame. I like to see the face of Satan when the three Hebrew men were thrown in the fire and the thing was not even burning them and their hair was not singed. That's what the Bible says. Have you, have you smelled the burning of, of hair before? It has a certain smell. Now, particularly in those days, as a Muslim boy, when we have to uh, sometimes burn the, the hair on the ram if they didn't cut out the skin and use it as, uh, as a mat for prayer. We burned the hair. It had a smell. The Bible says not one hair was sinked. Today, every fire raised against you. Not your hair was sinked. Not one hair. The three Hebrew men were walking around. My Ebosha, the voice of the Lord, divides the flames. So the power of the fire could not... <laughs> Carry out its effect. It has never been seen. Receive the hand of the Lord this day in the name of Jesus. Verse 8, the voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. There are 12 wildernesses in the Bible. 12. Kadesh Barnea is one of the worst. It is the wilderness of death. It is the wilderness of weariness. It is the wilderness of where the people of God were tired and they wish they go back to slavery. But God says to you today that his voice will silence that wilderness. Ah, let your amen be powerful. Particularly those who've been going through some going through. And you just wonder, why am I going through this wilderness? Not at this stage in my life. This morning, say amen wherever you are. I pull you out of wilderness. Wilderness of lack of joy. I pull you out. Wilderness of lack of peace. I pull you out. Please say amen with fire. May the voice of the Lord pull you out of joy. Out of the lack of joy. Pull you out of the wilderness of trouble. May the voice of the Lord pull you out of the wilderness of, of betrayals. May the voice of the Lord pull you out of the wilderness of working hard with nothing to show. May the voice of the Lord pull you out of the wilderness of a season of darkness. May the voice of the Lord pull you out of the wilderness of trouble on every side. May the voice of the Lord pull you out of the wilderness of disaster. I cover everybody on this platform with the blood of the Lamb. You will not fly on the day there will be an accident. No plane crash. 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 Thank you, Jesus. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. Kadesh Barnea was a terrible wilderness. It was where a snake beat them. It was where water was not flowing. It was where things were so hard. But God brought them through. This morning, upon this altar, the voice that saw them through the wilderness of death shall bring you out of every wilderness. There are times you are born again, you go to church, you are even a worker, you are even the pastor, but you are going through wilderness. And people don't know. You are the worship leader. You have to stand there and say, praise the Lord. Let's rejoice and give God glory. Or you have a personal, deep, dry desert. A wilderness is a strange one. I remember as we were driving, to the Dead Sea, the wilderness was to the right and I looked and said, why did they call this place wilderness? This is a desert. 
You could hardly see a tree standing, only rocks and sand. Some of you, you, you are in church, you've been there all of, all of your life, but you go through wilderness season. This morning, we pull you out of wilderness. May your life be a watered garden in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 9, the voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth and strips the forest bare. And in his temple, everyone says, glory. The voice of the Lord makes the deer, when the deer heard his voice, it gave birth. Ah, prosha. <laughs> and the most midwives in my culture, when they didn't have hospitals, they would speak like this passage. They would say, nobody, nobody midwives a goat, and yet it gives birth. You shall give birth. This morning, the Bible said, by the voice of the Lord, a deer births without anybody's assistance. Somebody thinks you need them to rise. But if a deer can birth, because we didn't know the deer hears God. Haramosha! The voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth. You will give birth to your dream. You will give birth to your vision. You will give birth to your testimony. You will give birth to your breath. May you hear the voice of the Lord in this season of your life. Anyone who thinks they are going to attack you, bring you down, you will not see them. You will not hear them. You will hear the Lord. You will not see them. You will not hear them. You will hear the Lord. Those who said without them you can't go forward, you will not hear them. You will not see them. You will hear the Lord. May the voice of the Lord be clear. May the voice of the Lord be clear to you. May it birth breakthroughs, birth miracles, birth breakthroughs, birth miracles, birth breakthroughs, birth miracles, birth breakthroughs in Jesus' name. This voice strips forests bare. Every tree that the Father have not planted, by his voice he brings them down in your life. Shout amen with fire where you are. Shout amen where you are. This morning, Psalm 47, verse 1. May you hear the voice of triumph. It says, clap your hands, all you people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Psalm 47, verse 1. Clap your hands, all you people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. I take it again. Clap your hands, all you people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Ikarabosha, the voice of triumph. <laughs> Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. The voice of triumph is a voice of endorsement. When you triumph, what does that mean? You won. You are victorious. Triumph means total victory. Kaski, Tosha, Tipra. Okay, I see that revelation. I saw somebody as I was praying, raising some document. Takapaka tukopa, hikatili parata, hikaparato rosi, haparitoro nama, pato, hika, pate, kato, pate, tata, rika, pate, shopa, rita, rampra, tombre, kendro, pate, taka, paka, tosha, tika, paka, heros, kabari, victory. triumphant in the name of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus this morning may you be triumphant clap your hands O ye people shout out to God with a voice of triumph. You shall be triumphant. You shall be triumphant. Anyone cooking evil against you, wherever, anywhere, we cancel with the blood. Cancel it with the blood. We declare your victory this morning. Kabosa, Yinibosha, Rikuba Kazikia, Riko Tolebaraba, Zuleboro Talaraba, Riko Taliri Kababa, Zaliri Diba Kateri Kaba, Ratukoba Kateliri Kaba, Riko Tokaba Kataliri Kaba Kaba, Rika Tata 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 Raba, Hiraba Koso Talaraba. Psalm 55 verse 3, the voice of the enemy. I'm about to cancel. Sit up. Get ready. Wake yourself up. 
If you've been dozing in and out, wash your face. We're about to silence the voice of the enemy because he's been speaking against some of you. Speak and using your own mind. Using your own mind. The voice of the enemy has been tormenting you. We're not going to give it too much attention this morning, but we're about to silence the voice of the enemy. Ah! Psalm 55 verse 3, because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked, for they bring down trouble upon me and in wrath they hate me because of the voice of the enemy. Every voice of the enemy, every voice of oppression, because of the oppression of the wicked, every voice of the enemy, anyone who make themselves an enemy of your progress, an enemy of your joy, an enemy of your family, an enemy of your blessing, we silence them. We go into the realm of the spirit, we grab their tongue. We can't! Nabodosha. <laughs> I just see revelation. I don't know who it is, but it's as if <laughs> in stupidity they took your name, your family. So these people will behave like they are some spiritual thing. I saw them wearing white. Eh, not, not those white garment churches, but these nature worshippers, these demon worshippers, worshippers of all kinds of foreign gods. And they took your name and they are trying to say things. The fire of God will burn them. The finger of God attacks them. They are of no consequence. We silence them in the realm of the spirit. They will speak and no man shall hear. Power of God will hit them in the name of Jesus. From today, there's a turnaround. The voice of the enemy is silent, silent, silent. Kaka, kaka, rituka, pakatini, nibrosia. Psalm 55, verse 3. The voice of darkness, the voice of the enemy that wants to bring, he uh, said, because of the oppression of the wicked, because some of you, you've just felt oppressed repressed, depressed. You wake up in the morning, you are unhappy. You, you wish evening will come. Evening came, you wish night will come. Today, I set you free. Every day shall bring you joy. Every day shall bring you celebration. Every day you hear the voice of triumph, the voice of thanksgiving, the voice of the bride, the voice of progress, the voice of testimony shall be in your house in the name of Jesus. Akaya bakoshaya. One more voice of the enemy we're dealing with. Job 3.18. Job 3.18, the voice of oppressors. They are the prisoners rest together. They do not hear the voice of the oppressor. They are the prisoners rest together. They do not hear the voice of the oppressor. Akayene bosha, mekalidi bosa, ranutali bari katu soloma bra, itno shishkidia, Renos kapoteri, tarusa li yamate, ma kotushka ida liba, ranuta ingem bruduska taledisha. Hirombra! Every voice. Every voice of darkness, we go into the realm of the spirit. We got, 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 we got. Every voice of oppression. Oppression is not just people coming and oppressing you physically, but you just feeling oppressed. You wake up, you're unhappy. They put food in front of you, you can't eat. You fast without wanting to fast. That's just a heaviness. I can see some people in my spirit. You look around, you look. You're surrounded by, by blessing, but you didn't see the blessing. Today, I break the grip of oppression over your life. You shall no longer be oppressed. You will not bow to adversity. You will not cry for the enemy. You will no longer bow to adversity. You will no longer cry to the en for the enemy. You will not bow to adversity. You will no longer cry for the enemy. You will not bow to adversity. You will no longer cry for the enemy. In Jesus' name. This morning, we'll finish with number one, the voice of thanksgiving. Iraba, Torazi, Emero, Yishade, Pareke, Kosaba, Rikaro, Jonah 2, verse 9. <laughs> the guy had no choice, man. He had no choice, man, but to give God thanks. Because when the fish swallowed him, the Bible says it took him to the bottom of the sea. Hey! Even fishes don't go there. You have to be a big one to go there, or you have to be permitted by the Lord. 
Even as I speak to you right now, despite the advancement of man, we only know 5% of the bottom of the sea, only 5%. But Jonah knew it. How he came back was God. So he said, but I will sacrifice to you with the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay what I have vowed. Salvation is of the Lord. I declare to your life. You will, you will come back with thanksgiving to every matter. You will come back with thanksgiving for the provisions. You will come back with thanksgiving for the stretching of God's hand. You will come back with thanksgiving for the outstretching of the hand of the Lord in your life. You will come back with thanksgiving. You will come back with thanksgiving. You will come back with thanksgiving. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. I prophesy, thanksgiving will break out in your house. Before the end. In fact, <laughs> I just saw something. Write it down. Somebody on this altar, between now and 12 noon, 12 noon of wherever you are, even if you are in yesterday, by 12 noon that follows, you will have a testimony. Good news is coming. Testimony is coming. Good news is coming. Good news is coming. Between now and 12 noon, how the Lord will do it, I don't know. But between now and 12 noon, good news is coming. Between now and 12 noon, Thanksgiving is coming. Between now and 12 noon, celebration is coming. Between now and 12 noon, testimony is coming in Jesus name thank you Jesus oh thank you Jesus Psalm 26 verse 7 Psalm 26 verse 7 that I may proclaim with the voice of thanksgiving and tell of your wondrous works the voice of thanksgiving between now and 12 noon today get ready for the lord himself goes ahead of you gives victory opens doors does wondrous things <laughs> the family will hear good news. 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 Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Rabo Shaya. Ah, you hear the voice of rejoicing. Psalm 118, verse 15. Psalm 118 verse 15, the voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tent of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. Oh, we close with this verse today. The voice of rejoicing and the voice of salvation is in the tent that is in your house. I speak into your life. The voice of rejoicing will not leave your house. The voice of total deliverance. Salvation means total deliverance shall not leave your house. The voice of rejoicing. Rejoicing over promotion. Rejoicing over open door. Rejoicing over solutions. Ideas coming into your spirit. Ah! People who have put you aside. Remembering you. Blessing you. Coming back to bless you. To lift you. Receive in the name of Jesus. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tent of the righteous and people who remember you they will connect i remember somebody the other day wanting to bless them all their phone is not good it's not going through ah that will not be your portion anyone who remembers you for blessing they shall connect they shall connect they shall connect doors will open ways will come 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 doors will open Kabosha, ways will come. The right hand of the Lord shall do valiantly. What does that mean? When the right hand of the Lord does valiantly. Valiant means powerfully, mightily. I release the hand of God. And not only his voice, but the hand of the Lord is going places you cannot go. And fixing things, fixing things, settling things, fixing things, bringing the things you thought cannot come. I read this verse again and close with it. Oh, no, no, I'm going to close with another one. I close with Isaiah 51, verse 3. <laughs> I 
close with Isaiah 51 verse 3 because you shall hear the voice of melody. I close with the voice of the Lord in Isaiah 51 verse 3. For the Lord will comfort you, comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places. God will come and speak to you and comfort you. He will make her wilderness like Eden. You are coming out of Kadesh Barnea. You are going into Eden of supply, surplus, supernatural, serenity. Ah! Eden, where Adam never needed to plant. Eden, where Adam never needed the rain. You are going into Eden. And her deserts like the garden of the Lord. My God. The voice of the Lord will change your desert to the garden of the Lord. And gladness will be found in it. Thanksgiving and the voice of melody. You will be singing. You will be dancing. You will be celebrating. Shaming demons of depression. Shaming demons of oppression. Shaming demons of suppression. Shaming demons that tell you, you see, you look at your life. You're finished. No! You rise from this morning. You hear the voice of merriment. Jeremiah 30, 19. This is your house. Jeremiah 30, 19. This is your house. Then out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. And the voice of those that make merry, I will multiply them. They shall not diminish. I will glorify them. They shall not be small. When I first came to England, I had challenges. When I stand at the bus stop, I'm singing. And everybody's looking at me. I didn't know I was strange. Everybody was supposed to keep quiet and be a nice Englishman. I just had to rebel. I said, I'll die in this town. In fact, I read the point I told Pastor CMC. If you want to study, study all you can. We're leaving this country. We're leaving, man. We're leaving. Ah! But somehow, God broke that spirit of depression and grayness that is on the land no my portion then out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry that's your portion i will multiply them that's your portion they shall not diminish that's your portion i will glorify them and they shall not be small as your testimony in jesus name amen 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 Oh, glory to God. I feel God in this room. I feel like going on in this morning glow. Another hour. Let's close this morning. We'll be here again tomorrow morning and shake the kingdom of the enemy. We're going to tear his kingdom down. We're going to rejoice. The voice of endorsement will be heard in your house. The voice of victory. Ah! Any other voice that wants to speak in your life is silenced in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Get on your phone and invite people to join us. We need to know the voice of divine endorsement so that when Satan is speaking, because you see, let me give you one more scripture. Psalm 58 verse 5 talks that Satan is using the voice of a charmer. The voice of a charmer. He says, which will not heed the voice of charmers, charming ever so skillfully. I don't know if you've seen in India, they speak to a snake. They charm the snake, poisonous, and then they tell it what to do. Every charming voice that is from hell, we return it to the sender. Jesus' name, victory this morning. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Tomorrow morning, we have morning glow. Tomorrow evening, we have time in to study the word. Oh my God, it will bless you. It will change your life. It will challenge you. It will stretch your life. Your life will never be the same. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. So join us tomorrow morning. Join us tomorrow night. From Saturday, June 1, KICC starts a season of fasting and praying for 32 years. I hope I'm correct. 2009. KICC started in 1992. For 32 years, KICC have kept the consistency of June and December. June and December. Matter of fact, we are the ones who started entering the year with uh, fasting and then people copied it globally. But we don't just do that. We also do the halfway one. 
the half the halfway praying and fasting join us in the month of june is going to be powerful the lord has given a word it is a time of praying and fasting a doorway to abundance make sure you take all the details on the screen invite your friends to join us it will be powerful 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 morning glow services during that period and evening glow during that period also there will be three nights monday wednesday friday uh, I think four nights really and Sunday evening. So don't miss it. Alabo koto sheka ya taraba kasata ya rinombre kumbre nderi tombronda lerebosh kaya debi kataleriba rebosh join the 30 days fasting praying. The International Gathering of Champions is gathering momentum. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a time of the outpouring of the grace and the power of God. Nishoda Bogozi Bredali Janari Boko Talibara Nikesu Mari Gabo Jani Boro Zendeli Kari Bakosaya. This year's IGOC will be a season of the outpouring of grace. God will do wonders. God will do wonders. The speakers will bless us, the worship will bless us, the school of ministry will bless us. You need to register. You need to snap quick the registration, and you need to take advantage. Yes, take advantage, register, and be part of the International Gathering of Champions, August 21 to 25. The blessings of the Lord will be there. Take the days off work now. Take the days off work. Fix that time as a time to be in the presence of the Lord. Come and soak yourself in the word and in the worship. Soak yourself also in the fellowship, the warmth, the worship, the word. The warmth, the worship, the word. The ziebito, kabaranota, lishge de bozi, kende rebokoza, ranota, baranozi, ki talibro, noza, renombro, dere kabareja. Make sure you are with us during that period. Praise the Lord. Oh, it is going to be a powerful one. The blessing will be awesome. Make sure you, you, you scan the QR code so it can take you to the point of registration. You can also, if you are in America, in the Caribbean, in Australia, in Asia, in the Middle East, maybe you are unable to travel, travel, but you want to be part of it, you can just register and participate virtually. And you will be blessed. You will be blessed. Praise the Lord. I declare blessings on you, favor on you, in the name of Jesus. You will be blessed. Favor will never leave your house. Glory will never leave your house. Abundance will never leave your house. Joy will never leave your house. I declare this morning as we bring this time to a close that may the blessing of the Lord rest on your life. You are special to God, nothing shall bring you down. You are a saint of God, nothing shall bring you down. You are a creature made by God, nothing shall bring you down. You are a special friend of Jesus, nothing shall put you down. You are blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You are more than a conqueror, you will continue to win. You are peace that passes understanding, that is your portion. You are made righteous and holy, you shall not go down. You are justified by faith. You are free from condemnation. You are delivered from the kingdom of Satan. You've been brought into the kingdom of light. You are sealed by the power of God. You are filled with the Holy Spirit. Your life is above, never under. Continue to remain in victory. Remember this morning's morning glow. Don't let the enemy, when he tries to bring his voice, shut it out in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you richly. We we'll see you tomorrow morning. We we'll see you tomorrow morning. We we'll see you tomorrow morning. God bless you richly. How do you benis? Do you still diga? Do you still ben soy? Boana akubariki. When yamishra, yamishra why? Yabarikish, yabarike. Mwariba kukumbrere, iwomazita. Rayesu. Good morning, Saubona Kunjani. God bless you.